So without further ado, I want to bring up our next, uh, next speaker is Laurel uh, D. Kilpatrick. She's been a social justice activist for almost 20 years, you know, starting with uh, environmental justice organization Coalition for Clean, it, Clean Environment in her hometown of East Chicago, Indiana, so right down the street a little piece. You know, her educational background includes a Master of Science um, in degree in sociology from Purdue University. Uh, Laurel's passion and dedication to social justice is fueled by her working class upbringing and her family tradition of activism. This tradition dates back to her great grandfather and his interest in Mar Marcus Gar Garvey's Universal Negro Improvement Association. Yeah, yeah. Much love, for Marcus Garvey. Yes. Currently, Laurel is a co-organizer for Black Lives Matters uh, Northwest Indiana and Gary. Yeah, yeah, let, let them know. Let them know how much you love Black Lives Matters. You're... Yes. Yep. She's a, uh... <clears throat> she... <laughs> I think I hear my daughter is out there somewhere. Thank you, thank you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Uh, she's a co she's a co-founder of Black Lives Matter Northwest Indiana Hammond, um, and a member of uh, Saving Our Families community of uh, the Chicago excuse me the Christ United Methodist Church of uh, Gary. Laurel stresses that only a gender inclusive, intergenerational, multiracial, anti-racist movement will secure a true quality of life for all members of society, and defeat and defeat the current profit over people practice of those who hold state power. Thank you for the real. Oh, that was about all I wanted to say right there, the introduction. How's everybody? It's beautiful out here. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wanted to talk about the link between uh, environmental justice and social justice. And this is something that um, has been with me my whole life. My whole family is from East Chicago, Indiana, in a little neighborhood called New Edition. Is anybody familiar with New Edition in East Chicago, Indiana? So you know what the backyard of New Edition is, right? BP, a row of oil tankers that you can see right outside the living room window of my family home. Right, for the entire time it's been there. Uh, my, my aunt used to say that when people would come to visit her, they would be so nervous, they would be so almost terrified that one visitor would run to the window and constantly look out the window because he just could not believe that people lived with dozens of oil tankers right in their backyard. But that's life, right? That's life for people here in Northwest Indiana. Right, and uh, in Black Lives Matter, Northwest Indiana, Gary, we believe that these struggles are united. We believe that you absolutely cannot separate social justice from environmental justice, from any type of movement for the people. Right, you cannot separate those things. So when we talk about um, a word that Unfortunately, you don't, you don't hear too much when we're dealing with environmental justice, but I've, 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 I've been hearing it more recently, and that's been awesome. Racism. When you talk about the environmental racism or just the implicit racism and where you find these types of industrial communities, first of all, poverty-stricken communities, that's number one. That's what they all have in common. And in Northwest Indiana, we see the communities that are most affected are racial power minorities. Right, and the insidiousness of racism makes us believe that if we don't live in these areas, if we don't look like these people, we're not affected. But that's not true. We breathe the same air, right? We're drinking almost the same water, right? So it's, it's connected, it's related. We're all going to be affected by it. I remember somewhere around 2000 uh, when I was working with the Coalition for a Clean Environment. Anybody ever heard of that group? Out of East Chicago, Indiana, Coalition for a Clean Environment was fighting against the construction of a chemical disposal f waste facility that was going to be across the street from East Chicago Central High School, right next to what was then Westside Junior High School. And this was going to be an irresponsibly built containment facility, a concrete cylinder structure with no lining on the ground, no cover on the top. And they were just going to continue to fill it with sediment and poison that they, that they dredged up from the barge, right? Right in the heart of a community that has been burdened with environmental injustice since it was first populated, 
right? The, the, the number of people with cancer, the number of children born with asthma, astronomical in this one little area. But those are the people who continue to suffer from this, right? So we can't separate these struggles. The GEO group, anybody familiar with that group? GEO Prison Corporation tried to build a, a structure or immigration prison camp in Hobart, and then they brought it to Gary. Right? They brought it to a people that they thought were going to be docile. They brought it to a people that they thought weren't going to put up any kind of fight. To a people that if you say the word jobs, you thought they were going to line up even though they had no hope of getting these jobs. And we fought. And we won for now. That's all right. Let's celebrate that. We fought and we won for now. Right? But the seriousness isn't over. Right? It's not over until we defeat this profit over people system. We have to matter more than profit. So this looks like a chanting group, right? You guys like to chant? And you might know this chant. I'm going to say, racism means, and you're going to say, oh, okay, you, we got to fight back, right? Racism means we got to fight back. Good, good job. Let's do that again. Racism means we got to fight back. And capitalism means we got to fight back. fighting everybody. We can't stop fighting. We can't stop fighting. A multiracial, anti-racist, intergenerational, gender inclusive, all inclusive, all hands in, fight together for ourselves. We gotta win it. We all we